Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to show you how to add a YouTube video to your WordPress powered website. And the reason why this is important is because it's good for your users to see that you're creating the videos and then you're also, you know, providing another format for them to view the content in the written form. But also another reason why this is cool is because a lot of YouTube tubers will, you know, recommend you know, some of the professional YouTubers will recommend that you script out your dialogue for your YouTube videos. Well, not why not create your blog post about your video beforehand and use that as your script. So the way to do that is you just create a new post. So you just add a new post, give it a title. So whatever the title is going to be, my YouTube video. And then you would just go ahead and fill in the script that you're going to use for your YouTube video inside the editor, inside the visual editor over here. You'll format it as you see fit, you know, add the content uh, that you need. And then when you're creating your video, you have your script. So you could, you could practice in advance, you can, you know, print it out or you can have the screen open depending on the format uh, that you are are using for your videos. Some people do screencasting, some people talk in front of them in front of the camera. So it really does depend on how you do it. But ultimately, this is a great way to, you know, create your script and then add your video to the blog post once the video is completed. Now, why would you want to have both? Because again, YouTube and Google, they want you to provide your content to people in the format that they enjoy uh, using and, and, you know, consuming the content. So some people love the videos. Some people love the blog post, and this gives you an added benefit of, you know, putting the AdSense on your YouTube channel, but also on your website. So now you have two potential streams of income coming in from uh, Google and YouTube. All right, so now I'm going to just put in some uh, generic content. I'm using a plugin over here to put some uh, generic text, but this could be your script. And then when you're doing your video, you can, you know, depending on how you set it up, you can read it from here. And then now you have your script already set up. Or you could just practice it, uh, make sure that you, you know, you have it committed to memory as best as you can. And then you have it here. All right. So once you uh, do create your script or your blog post, you can save the draft. And now the draft is going to be saved. And then you can go ahead. It's not published yet. It's not live yet. You know, you can go ahead and create your video um, and then... Once you're done, you could just share it. So this is a, one of my videos for my channel. I'm just going to go to the share button over here and copy the URL. And then I'm going to go, you can put it anywhere. You can put it at the top if you want, you can put it at the bottom, but anywhere you want, you could just paste the URL and then it's going to uh, generate the, um, the actual image and the video inside your blog post. So what you would do is you can just check on preview before you publish it, check on preview. And then you see you have your video right there within your blog post. So now people can find your videos on YouTube. People can find your videos on your website and the search engines, you know, pretty much Google, they see that you're creating the blog post and that you're creating the videos as well. This has to help you. I mean, I don't see why this would not help you within the search engines. And, you know, a lot of data has been done and a lot of testing has been done to show that as long as it's quality content, it's going to benefit you. So it makes sense to create the blog post and create the video um, and have them work together, you know, to increase your discoverability within the search engines. All right. So this was a very simple way. All you had to do was just take the URL and then paste it inside the visual editor at the location you wanted it to be. So now you see it here. So you would just click on publish. It's doing the auto save draft now. Click on publish. And you see once you do that, it's going to also generate it within your visual editor as well. So you kind of see that there. If you want to get a better view in distraction free mode, or you can do that. By clicking on there and you can see how it looks all right so you can view the post and now you see that your video is there now obviously you should have the same title for your video um, on YouTube 
as well as the same title for your uh, for your website URL. That way they work together. Uh, it just helps you out overall. Um, and also you want to make sure your permalinks are properly set up you know, for that as well. Uh, but this is just a very easy way to share your videos with your readers of your website and gives you an opportunity to share both a link to your video on your social media channels and then later on share a link to your website blog post you know that talks about the content that's in the video as well so now you get two opportunities to be found online and also to share your content you know um, under various social channels all right hopefully you enjoyed uh, this episode where i describe to you how to embed a uh, youtube video on your website it is a very simple process uh, to do and it really does help you out in the long run as a U YouTuber. Uh, there are additional ways to embed videos as well. You can go to the more um, customizable way which is the embed feature and you can choose the height and width. You can choose some of these options and just embed them inside. You go to the text format and you could erase this and just embed it that way as well. Um, so you know this Tutorial is all about YouTube and your website and how you can use them, you know, to work together, you know, to promote your content online. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you found it beneficial. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts, ideas, or comments, leave them down below and I will take a look at that. And also don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to show you some other tricks that you could use to really empower, you know, um, empower your YouTube channel and also your WordPress powered website. All right, don't forget, thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.